token air wasn't what it was supposed to be, huh? I'm going to make a comparison here. Token Air is the Aramco IPO. Saudi Arabia is trying to do an initial public offering of all the oil they have. They've been drilling for 50 years the easiest crude to get out of the earth. And now that they're using high pressure water to get the black shit out of the bottom, they still have, for some funny reason, uh, prospectuses telling you that there's trillions and trillions of dollars worth of more oil underneath there. And they want to make an initial public offering of it. And as far as I'm concerned, it's just the CIA trying to get their fucking last dibs because they ain't got nothing else to fucking rule your ass over with. Now that oil's been, like, regulated, or relegated more like, to individual countries creating their own and not being so reliant on sucking off the teat of those that fucking control everything. And I think Token Air is kind of a mirror in that regard. You know, Adam Hole, fucking Heem, all those fucking motherfuckers. The good guys. Not guys like me. Not guys like uh, Saint. Not guys like... Not, not, not the real good guys. Like Sonny. Um... I, I just think it's great, man, to watch what happened. You know, I, I can't wait to hear the news about some motherfucker over there that uh, is an ambassador who sold. I can't wait for that. Because it looks like that's where it's headed. I'm not too sure that guys like King of FOMO <laughs> are going to be able to coerce their subscribers into something that's already happened. Now that it's already happened, everybody knows what their potential gains may be. I wouldn't be surprised if most of that stuff's going back into Pyre Bank, something like that. Yeah, so that's the analogy of the day. World's uh, gradually seeing precious metals increase in price. I have not seen it dip at all below 17 we uh silver's at $18. <clears throat> I seriously implore you to at least pay the pay attention to the price of silver. Um if and when the inevitable comes to be, if and when the reason you are in crypto, if you have half a brain, if and when the reason comes that crypto exists or if and when the reason comes that silver has existed for centuries or millennia. If and when that reason comes, I, I implore you to be, you know, as best prepared as possible. And I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm just saying this is like, you know, money is a concept. That's it. It's a fucking religion. All right? The idea in which we trade with each other and exchange value is a religion. And unlike how Bitcoin maximalists want to argue that the religion of Bitcoin is good because you retain your value. It's a store of value. What the fuck in the world has re retained value and gone up and down in such a speculative manner? Has there been anything more speculative than Bitcoin? How the fuck can any logical motherfucker designate Bitcoin as a fucking store of value? Well, it's perfectly clear that ultimately it's a speculative vehicle. Based in a religion. Tron's gonna eat fucking Bitcoin's fucking lunch, man. Three piece and a soda's coming towards Bitcoin with things like Tron, man. Especially with Z-Ping saying what they're saying. And if Putin fucking mines the 20% left of Bitcoin... Dude, game on! This is gonna get so fucking fun, we haven't even started. Haven't even started. And all those rich motherfuckers... I so look forward to the day they have to figure out how to use a ruler and a hammer. Because they'll fucking die. Guys like fucking Oracle, motherfucker can't even do accounting. 20 bucks says that motherfucker never changed a tire in his life. Those fuckers. The fuckers that run fucking uh, 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 the world. That have no clue in you slaves. You're fucked. More than we are.
Have a good day, guys.